Hi, thanks for touching base with Touching RC, and today we're, I'm doing a follow-up video for the Phoenix RC Flight Simulator. So first, just get your software disk and pop it into the computer, and you're going to see a DVD RW drive pop up down here, and it should have a little blue airplane icon, just cl click on that. Then you're going to click on Phoenix RC 5, it's going to have a list of a bunch of different simulators. You can do Roof Flight 7 or Aerofly or whichever ones you want, but Phoenix RC, this is the one I want. And you're going to scroll down to the little navy blue icon that says Setup. Double click that, and it will launch a little setup wizard. And it takes a few seconds for that. So we'll wait for that to load, then we'll be right back. So it's popped up now, the setup wizard. Install wizard is up here now, and it's going to ask you to pick your language and I'm going to be using English because that's what I speak. Alright, then just click next once you've picked your language. Alright, and this is welcome to the install shield wizard for Phoenix RC. And just click next. And you have to agree to the license agreement. And you just say, I accept the terms. Um, you can look it over if you want. Um, so I'm just going to accept the terms of the license agreement. Click next. And you're going to set up a username. Um, mine will be touch and go. Oh. Touch and go RC. And the company. Oh, wait, never mind. My username will probably be JPV13. And then my company name will be Touch and Go RC. Here we go. And just click next when you're done. And you can uh, please select a setup type. And complete is all program features will be installed. And that requires most of the sp disk space. And custom, select which program features you want installed. Recommended for advice users. Um, I'm going to do probably the complete. Or, yeah. I'm going to do the complete thing because I want it all. So I'll click next. Click install to begin the installation. If you want to review or change any of your installation, Settings, click back, click cancel to exit the wizard. So I'm ready to install. Click install. And this will take a little bit to install the, uh, Phoenix, to install Phoenix RC. And we'll be right back when it's done. Alright, so it's done. And we are ready to finish the install wizard. So it says click finish to exit the wizard. Finish. And it is done. So I believe if we exit out, our Phoenix RC should be right over here. And if it's not, oops, sorry. It is probably in files. And you could probably click on documents and go to Phoenix RC. And you could just open it up as a deck or create a shortcut and put it on your desktop. So, anyways, let's open it up and do the setup on Phoenix RC. So, I'll, I'll double click right quick and get it loaded. <clears throat> it says there's a new version of launcher available for download. It's recommended that you download this now. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, and it'll download. And we'll be right back when it's finished. Alright, so it has successfully downloaded the files, and the Phoenix RC launcher must restart, restart so that it can be updated. So let's press OK and press Yes, and it'll restart. We may have to click it again. There we go, and you'll see a new profile picture, and I will start it. It says a new version of Phoenix 
is available for to download. Would you like to download it? Um, I might as well get it up to the latest, so I'll do it again one more time, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we are done. It is done uh, installing, and it's going to click yes again, allow it to make changes to the computer. You have successfully updated the version 5.5i. So click A again, OK again, and start Phoenix RC. And we have it open up here. You're going to click the language. I have in I'm speaking English. <clears throat> Alright, so this version of Phoenix makes a large, makes large changes to the physics calculations of the simulated models. You must clear any previously created variants on the previous parameter uh, setup may no longer fly accurately. When you click the button below, your existing variants will be backed up to your my documents Phoenix RC variants date folder and all accurate variants deleted. Click continue to proceed. Alright, so it says thank you for choosing Phoenix and it's talking about uh it's gonna walk you through a setup wizard to set up your transmitter and stuff. And let me go grab a transmitter real quick and we'll be right back. So this is this is the time when you can go ahead and plug in, plug in your USB device and get your remote plugged in. And we'll go through the setup wizard on a DX5E. That's what I'm using, and any other transmitters uh, that are Spectrum or pretty much any other remote should be pretty much exactly the same. So let's click next and proceed. All right, and it's talking about what you're going to need to do to set up your transmitter before you start the setup wizard with your transmitter. Um, you have to create a new model, make sure it's a blank, a uh, fresh clean slate, um, and you're going to need to set your transmitter to PPM modulation mode. Um, some transmitters have that uh, option like the Turn G9X and some other more complicated radios. Um, you're going to need to set it to PPM. Set your transmitter to helicopter mode and mine doesn't have any of these options so I'm not worrying about it right now uh, and you have to disable swashplate CCP and mixing I don't have that either so click next it says it's gonna walk you through everything that you see on this list right here making sure your transmitter functions are set to defaults you know make sure your transmit transmitter trims are neutralized centering all of your controls on your transmitter, moving all the controls on your transmitter to their limits. Alright, so let's begin the calibration. Just click next. Oh, and we need to actually switch our USB down to Phoenix on the very bottom. <clears throat> Plug it in. And it says Phoenix needs to know the central positions of all controls on your transmitter. So just all your sticks in the center. All you have to do is throttle. You might want to go ahead and center your trims. There we go. Alright, and once you've done that, just go ahead and click next. And also with your switches um, on the DX5E and probably with the DX4E, um, there might, um, probably on the DX4E, there's not an extra switch. Um, but there may be, just set it to the default, which is zero. And any other switches like a trainer or rates, those don't matter. So just click next. And move all their sticks to their maximum. And you'll see the sticks start to, the bars start to pop up there. Right there. And then, you go ahead and click next once you see all the bars are moving. Click next, then move your gear switch. Right there, it's working good. And click next again. Now it's now it wants you to test all the controls, make sure everything's moving properly. Just to see if the bars are moving correctly. If it's reversed, you'll have to change that later on. 
but everything is moving so just click finished and setting your controls um, you're going to have to pick the actual model of your remote so mine is spectrum double click to pick the exact type now obviously if you're using dx 4 e or whichever one you just click it and it goes all the way up to a dx8 to a dxe um, I have dx5e just click that it says you have now successfully set up your new transmitter for use with Phoenix and you can go ahead and click finish and adjusting your display quality you can have a higher resolution or lower I, I don't want it too high um, I want Imperial that's like feet and inches and stuff like that um, next you have successfully completed the initial setup wizard you're ready to begin flying with Phoenix alright so finish <laughs> there are new updates no not right now so I'll just get a plane right here and as you can see I bet some things are gonna be backwards yep aileron rudder land it real quick uh, alright never mind so let me reverse them real quick it was aileron and rudder those are the two likely ones that you're gonna have to reverse there we go and Phoenix is officially running so I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, sorry about the washer machine in the background but thanks for watching this video um, if you want to see more stuff like this be sure to subscribe and give this video a like and we'll see you in the next video